unpicked fruit falls off trees and rots. But two UT San Antonio grad students turned a class project into a program to harvest fruit from urban trees and give it to the needy. We were tasked with coming up with a solution for a neighborhood that suffers from lack of access to fresh foods, otherwise known as like a food desert. We discussed the problems health-wise that many of the residents in the neighborhood west of San Antonio called Avenida de Guadalupe suffer from. And what are ways that in the built environment you can combat that? I realized that there were an abundance of trees without the utilization of the fruit. The people in the neighborhood are producing enough fruit that is edible. They just were missing the link to how can they uh, use it, what's the best method for harvesting it. Melissa and classmates researched, found, and contacted model fruit tree harvesting programs to get tips on creating their own program, the San Antonio Fruit Tree Project. We decided we needed to map where the trees are located as a resource, not just for us, but also for San Antonio. Melissa collected addresses and tree locations, and we started playing around with different map programs. We can catalog the trees and see what grows. We can map them and see where is the biggest abundance of trees. And then we can put together a harvesting program run by volunteers that goes into neighborhoods and harvests the trees, leaves some for the tree owner, creates a network for food swapping, food preservation. They reached out to San Antonio Food Bank leaders who agreed to accept produce and gave them an individual tracking number to record their donations. They created social media and online tools to map trees, raise program awareness, and coordinate volunteers. We actively uh, recruit on our website, but we also talk about our fruit tree project wherever we go. Lots of UTSA classmates and professors volunteered and supported them, and they got a small local grant. It seemed like a really good project to just try to connect people who need something to something that's growing in our community that literally is free. People that get this fruit may not be able to purchase it at the stores. It's good that the families have the fruit so that now they can eat healthy and have food at the same time. For me, I think the most important thing is creating social capital. Using fruit to connect people to either a healthier way of living, a healthier way of eating, connect people to each other. Make that connection with people, with their trees, and inspire them to be better land stewards and also learn other things about growing food so that their access to fruits and vegetables is understood that it can be available in their own yards. 